Hi, little Vikings, it's Teacher Casey, and today's read aloud is called 10 Things You Can Do to Protect Animals by Elizabeth Weitzman. Elephants, tigers, crocodiles, toucans. We share the earth with a lot of amazing animals. Unfortunately, humans are threatening their habitats. Many of these animals are becoming endangered. They might not be around much longer. The good news is is that you can help. There are many ways you can protect animals. Number one, pick up trash. Keep animal habitats clean. Pick up any litter you see, even if someone else dropped it. You can also plan a creek cleanup with your family. Put on a pair of gloves and visit a nearby stream. Clear all the garbage near the water. The animals that live in that area will be thankful. Ask your parents to bring reusable bags whenever you go shopping. Plastic bags can last for a thousand years, and they're very dangerous for marine animals. Number two, help birds in your neighborhood. Ask your principal if you can hang bird feeders around your school. You can even leave some pieces of yarn on a tree branch. It might be used to make a nest. Honeybees pass pollen from one plant to another. This work called pollination is very important. It makes plants spread and grow. Ask your parents to avoid using pesticides that harm honeybees and hardworking animals that are disappearing. Number three, make your yard go wild. If you have a backyard, try to keep it as natural as possible. Make sure there are trees and bushes that can offer shelter all year long. Nuts and berries from these plants can feed animals. Chipmunks, owls, rabbits, and squirrels might make your backyard their home. Chipmunks like to eat acorns. Woodpeckers store nuts in trees. A lot of the world's animals live in forests. Many of these forests, especially rainforests, are being destroyed. Hmm. Number four, adopt a shelter pet. Are you and your family planning to get a pet? It is better to adopt one from an animal shelter than to buy it at a pet shop. Shelter animals have been abandoned. They have no other safe place to go. Pick the dog or cat that is right for your family. Some animals are not meant to be pets. Turtles are just one example. There is no denying that a baby turtle is super cute. But if you see one for sale, don't buy it. Turtles are wild animals that are happiest outdoors. Number five, give pets a happy home. Pets need regular checkups from an animal doctor. Take your pet to the veterinarian. Ask him or her to tell you the best ways to feed and hold your animal. Make sure it always has plenty of fresh water. Your vet can tell you how to best care for your pet. Your vet may say that your pets should be spayed or neutered. This means they will not be able to have babies. This is very important. Owning a pet is a big responsibility. Number six, support an animal shelter. Can't adopt a pet? Adopt a shelter in your neighborhood instead. Ask the people who work there what their animals need. You can collect food or toys for them. You can also visit the animals living there. You might even be able to walk them or play with them. Pets living in shelters need love and attention. There are shelters for rabbits, horses, llamas, monkeys, and even elephants. Number seven, buy free range eggs at the store. Grocery stores carry a lot of different types of eggs. Some come from farms that keep the hens locked in tight cages. Others come from farms that give their hens more room to grow. Ask your parents to choose these free range eggs. Free-range chickens have had a better life than those that live in cages. Many farmers sell their food directly to people at outdoor farmers markets. There's a good chance that the cows and chickens that provide these foods are not squished into tight cages. Number eight, leave endangered animals alone. Too many rare animals are taken out of their habitats. For example, coral belongs in the sea, but some people take it out of the ocean to make jewelry or art. Other people turn seal fur into blankets and coats. When we buy these things, we put more animals at risk. A lot of people do not realize that coral is a living creature. Elephant tusks are made of ivory, and some people use them for jewelry, but it's against the law. Number 9. Raise money to help animals. You can earn money from a lemonade stand or bake sale, or set aside part of your allowance. You could even paint pictures of your favorite animals and have an art sale. Ask a parent or teacher to help you search for organizations that help animals. Then choose where you would like to send your donation.
Number 10. Learn about animal life. Visit farms, nature reserves, aquariums, and zoos. Learn about the creatures that live there. Then share what you have learned with friends and family. The more people that know how to protect and love animals, the happier the animals on our planets will be. On our planet will be. There are laws that help animals too. In the U.S., the Endangered Species Act protects more than a thousand animals, including bald eagles, grizzly bears, and gray wolves. So, are you wondering if kids really can make a difference? The Prodigy Cats is an elementary school club in California that did. The members learned that California red frogs were endangered. They thought the frogs would be safer if more people knew about them, so they decided to try to make the frog the California's official state amphibian. They asked friends and strangers to support it, and after a lot of work, they got what they wanted. In 2015, the frog became the state's official amphibian. Now many more people will know about it and want to help protect it. A backyard habitat. Wild animals that live in your area can find food and shelter in your yard. Here's an example of a garden habitat you might find in a backyard in New England. Squirrels and birds build their nests in trees. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed plants. Small animals use bushes from protection, for protection from the weather and other predators. A bird feeder attracts a variety of songbirds. The end. Protect animals.